Hello, welcome to Heaven's Mopars. My name is Scott, and today I have a paint cup in my hand. And if any of you are confused by this chart, I'm about to walk you through it. Uh, behind me, I have my 70 Duster. I almost said Challenger. I have one of those too that I'm working on as well. But uh, today I am going to paint the roll bar in the car. I have it primed white right now and I'm about to paint it white and I'm about to mix some paint in here but I thought I'd explain how this chart worked. So I'm about to walk you through it right now. So what we have here, I'll walk you through the cup real quick, is a bunch of confusing numbers on this cup. Uh, what you want to do first of all is figure out what ratio you need and that's given up above in the the bold the top of the cup. It goes all the way up to a 15 to 1 ratio down to a, a 1 to 1 ratio. Uh, for example I'm going to start with a 2. Some columns have two numbers in it. Some have three. Some have uh, four. So what I have here is just an Allen wrench to use as a pointer. Uh, so in this first column, once you find out what ratio you need, let's say you need a one-to-one -one ratio, this first column, that represents your paint. Uh, and then the second column would represent your reducer or your thinner. And so then you come down here to this first column and you want to find out next how much paint you do you need this much paint? Do you need this much paint? Um, you just want to figure out how much paint you think you're going to need. Let's say you, I'll start at the very beginning. Let's say you only want just a little bit for a real small project. So then what you do is come down to your one, that first column. You put your paint in your first column. So you would fill your paint up to that one, up to right there. And then what you do is you match that number and you read across like you would a book. So you're going to match the ratio to one part your thinner. So what you do is you pour your paint into that one line and then you pour your thinner into that next line. And that would be your one to one ratio. This much equals that much. So you have an equal amount. Let's say you want, you know, half a cup, which is about up to here. So you see that four right there. So what you're going to do is pour your paint up to that first four, which is up to there. And then you keep that paint in there and you, then you pour your next product in there and that's going to bring you all up to that other four. So you just match numbers all the way across, no matter what the situation or what the ratio is. For here, the situation I have, I got my paint, my hardener, and my reducer, or your thinner. Um, so what I'm going to do here, the store, they told me it was a 6 to 1 to 1 ratio. And what the guy did at the, the place, he put a piece of tape on here that singled out what ratio I need. And uh, he did this just so that I could, uh, so I wouldn't get lost or confused. And uh, which I thought that makes it easy. Because if you're painting and you run out, and then you have to mix more. He said you could get sidetracked and do the wrong column or the ratio. And instead of doing this one, do this one, for example. And that would throw everything off. Um, so what he said was. For your six to one to one ratio now you got three columns for three products so what i would do let's say i'm using a harbor freight a little 4.2 ounce you know this is the detail spray gun that i'm going to use and let's say i need about two cups of paint roughly because i don't think i can paint that whole thing i'll probably need more but I don't want to mix too much and then not use it and waste product because this stuff isn't cheap. It'd be easier to mix more once you find out what you need. 
And uh, so what we got here, I'm let's say I want half a cup so I can fill that at least twice, maybe three times, depends. <laughs> and uh, so what I'm going to do is, let's say there's the six, uh, there's about half a cup right there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is go to the six in that first column, and then I'm going to pour my paint, which is in that big can, into up, up to that first six right there. And uh, so then I leave that paint in there. Then I'm going to take my hardener, which is symbolic usually of the second column, and pour it in up to the next six. And then I'm going to take my reducer or my thinner and pour it into the next from there up to there. So now I have a six part paint to one part hardener to one part reducer and that will give you your ratio and then uh, you take your stick your paint stick stir it all together and then pour it in your cup and you're good to go so that's a basic understanding on how that cup works I hope that helps uh, enjoy your projects. I hope they turn out well and you enjoy them for a long time. Take care. See you next video.